Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a 12 volt battery to your RV system. So if you have two 12 volt batteries connected, they're going to keep producing 12 volts. And you can do this with multiple batteries. So if you have three or four batteries in a parallel connection, they're going to stay at 12 volts going to your RV. So this is very, very simple. Anybody can do it and I'm about to show you how. Today we're going to be using two 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries from Lion Energy, and um, I'm gonna be connecting them together to show you how to keep two batteries producing 12 volts when connected together. So why don't we check it out right now? Okay, so starting off, I'm gonna show you these are two separate batteries. These are lithium iron phosphate batteries from Lion Energy, and we're gonna be connecting these together in parallel to keep the voltage at 12 volts, but double the capacity for our RV. And you can see all these terminals are beautifully labeled, positive and negative. The positives are red and the negatives are black. We're going to use a little voltmeter here so you can actually see what's going on with the voltage. So I'm going to get that set up for you and make sure we can see the display okay on the camera. Move my light a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take these test leads and basically show you the voltage of each battery. And as you can see on the first battery, we have 13.73 volts. And on the second battery, we have 13.4 volts. So about 13 and a half volts um, for each one of these batteries. Now we're gonna connect them in parallel. So what we're gonna do is I'm using two gauge cable. This is probably the same as what you'd find connected to your car battery. Of course, you're gonna be using whatever gauge is appropriate for your usage in your RV. So we're gonna take the positive terminal of the back battery and connect it to the positive terminal of the front battery. And we're going to do the same thing with our negative cable on the other side. So battery number one, negative, and battery number two, negative. We're going to hook those together, and that's it. We've just connected two batteries in parallel. And now I'll show you that even though they're connected and we can share all the capacity, we have 13.4 in the front. We have 13.4 in the back. And the way I actually recommend connecting these is across like this. And you'll see we still have 13.4 volts, but when you connect them like this to your RV, they're gonna load share across the entire battery bank and uh, they'll just wear a little more evenly. So that's about it. All right guys, so incredibly simple. And hey, it's never a bad idea to wear safety goggles, maybe even some gloves. And one important tip for you is that if you're using a metal ratchet or tools at all around these batteries, you do not want them to connect, touch the negative and the positive at the same time, because it will actually arc weld that in, in place and it'll start heating up and that can cause a fire or all kinds of bad stuff. So make sure you're wearing gloves and make sure you're, you don't let anything metal connect the, the negative and the positive terminal of one battery at the same time. Just be careful about that. Um, and that about covers it. And uh, as far as going from across the battery leads, so from the negative terminal of battery one to the positive terminal of battery two, I like doing that because it takes all the power from the batteries equally. You can just connect your RV to the negative and positive of one battery and all the other batteries are connected down the row. But the problem with that is the battery that you're connected to is gonna do a little bit of extra work and all the power from the other batteries is gonna trickle to it. And it's, it's gonna wear out a little bit faster than the other batteries. So I like to go across the entire battery bank and that's just a little tip for you. Okay, well, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you actually get notified when I make new videos. That really helps me out. And until the next video, thank you so much for watching and happy camping.